What's up guys, this is Andrew from Motorcycles Off-Road. Here on the channel, we make ton of content for the Honda 300L. And as time goes by, I try to keep updated as well as keep you guys updated and informed on upgrades and performance modifications. So if you're into always being up to date on 300L performance mods, be sure to subscribe and turn the bell on at the bottom. Today, I wanted to make a short video for you guys that I found interesting and it pertains to CBR 300 cams in the Honda 300L. Now, Jake, a member of the Facebook page for Honda 300Ls posted this interesting graph, which is the Dynojet results of the cams. As you see here, the Dynojet results show a tiny increase in horsepower and a tiny decrease in torque. If you never read one of these charts before, on the left is your power in horsepower and on your right is your engine RPMs. So you can really pull a lot of data out of how your motorcycle is going to run visually just looking at this chart. As you see, as you go through the RPMs, where exactly you feel your power curves. Now at this point, you can see a little bit of increase in red, which is the CBR cams over the 300L cams. But more notably, and this is where I say the big problem is. So if you look at this dotted line here, this is the CBR cams for torque versus the 300L, CBR being red. Despite the number up here, you will see a significant loss in torque. Even though further down the rev range, you have more torque with the CBR cams, you're actually losing it where you need it the most, which is four to 5,000 RPMs, where with a dual sport, you're gonna spend a lot of time off-road in those RPMs. Two things come to mind. One, these are pretty surprising results because as you know, there is very subtle but small differences in the 300L and the CBR engine. But the main takeaway I see here is this is completely not worth doing now you would have to take everything apart take your gas tank off put your bike in top dead center take your valve cover off slide out your camshaft put in the cbr camshaft put everything back together then you would still need fuel mapping with either a custom tune or you would have to go to a dyno and on top of that it's little to no benefit at all from what i'm seeing from this one source now things could change there could be cams made for the honda 300l specifically that maybe they'll give us a nice better torque curve and if you have this motorcycle you know the torque is is one of the good things that might make you prefer this bike over some of the other dual sports that are out there in similar displacement. So all in all, I would say I do not recommend. If you have a stock bike and you're really looking for performance, I did make a video on the top five mods I think you should do in order, and some of them include performance mods, like your ECU, and maybe some experimentation with gearing. But I thought this was interesting enough to bring to your guys' attention that at this point there's no huge benefit of switching over to a different cam set, specifically the CBR cams, as some people thought may have been a big power boost in the beginning. At least that's what the data shows at this point. So thanks for watching, and as I said, if you want to keep up to date on Honda 300L mods, just dual sport riding in general be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn that bell on we're coming on one year of owning this motorcycle with all your guys help i have the most viewed honda crf 300l review on youtube as well as we've been all growing together so thank you guys i'll catch you on the next one my name is andrew this is motorcycles off-road